Babe, where are you going? Are you going shopping? Oh, I'm going to go with you. What? You don't want me to go? <laughs> Come on, babe. You know I go shopping every single time. Especially with you. I mean, I know you go shopping because you're a girl and all that. I mean, I go shopping sometimes for you. But whenever you go, I like going too. Hmm. So I've just been sleeping so much. Is the weather good out there? But, babe. Come on, what are you going anyway? You're going now? Okay, then let's go. Why do you want to go alone? Come on. You need my help. You know that. No, 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 no. I insist. Come on. Let's just go. Babe. I'm serious. <sighs> what law are you going to? Promenade one. You never usually go there. Last time I checked, you usually go to one right all the way that's 30 minutes away. Because they have the clothes that you like. Hmm? Are you just trying to do something to just get it away from my relationship? Hmm? Well, just come sit down for a minute. Just, let's just have a talk. Come on, just come sit down. Come on. Typical much. Come on, babe. Put the purse down. Just come sit down. There you go. Why are you acting like this so? You're just so eager to just leave. Why did I like this lately? Hmm? What's going on? You haven't seen another guy, haven't you? Huh? Listen. I know it was Mother's Day two days ago on Sunday. I know you had to go see your mom. I had to go see mine. But it's really ironic to me that you've been doing this for five months. What's going on with you? Huh? I'm talking to you. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying. Are you sure you're not talking to another guy? Because usually that's how relationships go. Especially the suspicious. Okay then. Let me see your phone. If you're not talking to another guy, let me see your number phone. Oh, you don't think I knew you had another phone? Yeah, I knew you had another phone. Don't have the passcode to it, though, yet, but... 
Let me just see it. Both phones, actually. Come on. Give it to me. All right. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I lied. I do know the passcode to your phone. Let's see your first one. Okay, Tiffany, Leslie, Max. Max could be a girl's name, okay. Oh, yeah, I know her. Hmm. Just business stuff on this phone, huh? No social media stuff, no nothing. And there's your boss number. Forgot he's a guy. Let's see any messages that you got from him. Or voicemails. Or calls. No, surprisingly. Hmm. Weird. Let me see your other phone. It's his passcode. Ooh, but there's a lot of social media stuff on this one. Oh, and look at that. 25 new messages. Let's see who it's from. Mm, your mom. Dad. Oh. Who's Zeke? Huh. Let me see messages. Hey. Hey. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Seems like you guys are close friends. Back then. You need to leave him. I'm trying to. What do you mean you're trying to? <laughs> Wow. Don't worry, I'm going to escape soon. He's too manipulative. So I'm not. He's crazy. <laughs> wow, even one of your girlfriends said this. It was Tiffany. Tiffany even said that you need to leave me. Well, that answers my question. You are trying to leave me. <laughs> well, then. I guess I'm going to give Zeke and Tiffany a visit. Oh, don't worry. I'll find out where they are. Unless you want to tell me to make it easier. Don't hurt. I'm not going to hurt them. I was going to talk to them. Probably I'm going to hurt them though. Well, I didn't say anything. I'm just shocked that you lied to me. <laughs> That's pretty ironic to me. That you just want to leave me. Think I'm manipulative and just crazy. So <laughs> oh, I'm not. No, 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 just stay there. Just stay there. I'm just standing up. I'm getting closer to you. Give me your hands. Stand up. Now look at me. Look me dead in the eyes. Okay? I just want you to understand something. Real nice and clear you need me you definitely need me and I need you and guess what you're never ever going to leave never I don't care if you think I'm that crazy you're crazy just thinking that I'm crazy. If anything, being manipulative, how? You need.
need me. Don't you? You barely know how to pay bills. I had to teach you how to drive a car. I had to teach you a lot of things about your job. No other parent was there to teach you that. Except for your mom and dad, but they didn't do anything, right? So they're not really parents to you. So, I'm going to say this one last time. Because you don't want to be punished, do you? You, you, you don't. You really, 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 really do not want to push me. Because I will give you hell. I will. It can be so much worse for you. Trust me. And guess what? You'll just be more punished than last time. Remember what happened last time when you talked to another boy? Yeah. Torched you for a whole day. Made you do whatever I told you to do. That's what happens when you just don't listen. You wind up just being a filthy little bitch. And that's what you're acting like right now. Think about yourself, but not me. Only, only me. And guess what? They're not going to talk to you anymore. And you're never leaving. If you leave out that door, someone can kidnap you. Probably do something really extremely bad to you. I don't want people to see you anymore. After all that's over, you won't see the light of day. Now, won't you? <laughs> I don't want you talking to no other boy, especially Zeke, since he wants you to leave. Not only that, you just wanting to leave me after everything I've done for you? Seriously? <laughs> really? That's a huge mistake you can pull. So I suggest you watch what you do and say. Because it can be real. You've been just a naughty, naughty, naughty little girl, haven't you? <laughs> well, that's surprising you just want to leave all because you are just being a bitch. What well, could be twice as that? So guess what? You're never going to leave ever again. Because I need to keep you safe. And to keep you with me. You don't need no other boy. You don't need no family. You don't need nobody in your life. Nobody else. Only me is who you need. You need me. You wanted love. You wanted all of this. And you're just going to try to toss it away. Oh, don't cry. Don't, don't start that crying. Don't. It's a waste of time. I don't want to hear it. You don't need your family. You don't need anybody. You just need me. I can make your life more better than anyone else's. You're in a million dollar home. You're with a fancy rich guy that loves you. 
that you love me. As far as I know. But you need to get one thing straight. Without me, you're nothing. You're absolutely just nothing. You wouldn't be perfect at all this if it wasn't for me. <laughs> In fact, I love it. I love that you're with me. I have full control of all of this. We can. If you would just be with me. Me and you together, we can just be more than that. Just free to have fun. Don't you want that? To be with me forever? Then you can just conquer the world if we wanted to. I know how to. So just stop listening to anyone else. Your pathetic friends your family the only family and friends that you have is me do you understand uh, da, da, da. yes sir there you go that's better that's what I like to hear show me respect and I'll show you respect I promise you that I love you forever. I'm glad that you said that. You love me, right? Good girl. I love you too. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to worry about your job. Guess what? I told you you wouldn't be working there anymore. You don't need any money. That guy was going to probably hit on you anyway. You already have money. Your savings... Let's just say that me and your savings are just going to combine together. I'm also just going to be me. It's going to make the whole bread. So you don't have to worry about anything else. All you have to do is just rest with me. Do everything I tell you. Just not screw up. Got it? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now that's taken care of, I guess we could go shopping. But we're gonna go shopping at the mall that we are close to. Mm, not the problem that I want. No. I know the mall is close by. Maybe 30 minutes, but the problem that one's a little bit too far anyways. We don't need to go there. So, get your clothes on. Look nice for me. I'm going to look nice for you. Okay? I like to see your beauty. Everywhere. Your hair. Your face. Your hips and some other things, you know what I mean. You get my wink to my eye. You already know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'll get the car started. No, as a matter of fact, I'll change with you. 
Then I'll get the car started. Okay? Okay. I love you. Mm-hmm.